Okay, we're on Sunday the 2nd of October and we are on the Forex pair Australian dollar, US dollar. So let's have a look at this market, go over the potential trading areas for the week ahead. So the important thing is when you're looking at markets and doing your weekend analysis, it really shouldn't be um, a very, very difficult and very, very long um, winded thing that you're doing. You know, it shouldn't take you hours it should really, it should only take you 10 to 15 minutes maximum um, to scope the market, see what the market has been doing, um, and look for the key levels for the week ahead. All I've done is I've marked in the sloping um, trend line. You can see this market has reacted off of it several times. And then when it breaks through it, it comes back up, retests it, and then it sells off. As it sells off, it bounces off of the MA200 and shoots back up again. Okay, so looking at this market now, what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for the key levels of support and resistance, which are the levels where the market is most likely to react moving forward. So first of all, let's get up into the highs and mark these in. We have one right here. You can see the very, very strong bullish surge, which failed right here and then came crashing back down again. This is clearly a level of oops, resistance. And on top of that, you can see the sell-off is very strong. It's a strong level of resistance. Coming back down, we have more key levels. We've actually got a lot of resistance at these levels. which is exactly where the market is right now, actually. So coming into the start of next week, we have the key level of resistance um, to be watching for. We also have, if the market breaks um, up, tying in with the sloping trend line, um, they're always going to be a very, very good area to look for those reactions. It's going to scroll out. Coming back down again now, we're looking for the key levels of support in this market for the week ahead. Where are we looking for? Well, all we're doing is we're looking for these key levels of support, of which we have quite a few. The first one is right here. You can see we have a reaction all the way back here in 2015. March 2016, April, you've also got a reaction here. We come forward here. It's really funny when you're marking in these support and resistance levels, uh, it really amazes me when you hear from people who say uh, markets are completely random and it's impossible to trade them. You know, you can see, you know, that the market is reacting from this exact same level over and over and over again. Um, so anyone who thinks it's random and unpredictable, or not predictable, it's it's random and untradeable, I should say. Um, you know, I, I just I just do not understand. Okay, so anyway, you're watching this video, so you know that markets are readable also, um, or you would not be here. So where are we looking at? Next key levels. These levels here are very strong right here and right here let's zoom back in and have a look okay so first things first and um, going into the start of next week this is the area we are watching um, as resistance sell positions from here are very good on on the back of price action and um, breaks through here the market is coming up into 7795, really 7800 to be honest, to 7840. If we see the market breaking through, when you see the breaks through also of resistance or breaks below support, you always want to see the market then come back and retest before you take it as confirmation of that bullish bounce. If you don't, you're going to see price action like this 
which shoots through the level. All of the um, breakout traders jump in here because they think this is a breakout. You know, the market's coming above the key levels. What does it do? It comes up, it triggers all of those traders into the trades. It takes out all of the stops. People who have been short and put their stops here. Comes up, takes out all those stops, triggers in all the long positions, stops dead, and then reverses. You know, that's just the way the market um, moves, guys. We come back down, we bounce, we come back down here, false break. And then the market shoots back up once again. That's why when I'm trading, I like to see for breakout moves, the market breaking out, retesting, holding the level, and then continuation. If I was going to be selling, I'd need to see the market breaking out, returning, retesting, then giving the price action before we see that continuation. Okay, so the market for next week, those are the key levels. This is the one that we're going to be facing um, almost straight away. You can see the market's already way up into 6, 6, uh, sorry, 7, 6, 60, which means it's very likely coming up to 7, 6, 80. Those are the first levels to be watching. If we start to see strong rejection from these levels, uh, certainly on the daily time frame, it's very likely we're going to see the market coming back down once again to retest the key zone below. If we start to see the market pushing up, well, first of all, we're going to watch out for the false breaks. Then we're going to be looking for the returns and then the continuation. The continuation is going to take us into the next key level of resistance. Same for below. If we do come back down, well, first of all, we're going to be looking for the bounces. If we don't see that, we're just looking for the breaks through with the returns and then we're returning down to the levels below. Okay, guys, that's everything for the Australian dollar, US dollar, moving into the trading week ahead. Um, I hope you all have a great trading week.